Hi and welcome to Jerry Bickle Race Cars. My name's Steve and I'm going to talk to you today about what our fabricators do in the shop for fitting, drilling, countersinking, and preparing the windows for border painting prior to installation and final assembly. Our first window here that we have is just a quarter glass window. Um, I'm not the fabricator, but I listen to the guys and learn. We have some of the greatest in the business that do this. And what I'm going to show you here is after cutting the window, how it's beveled, chamfered on the edge to fit into the body panel itself. Next step is drilling with an eighth inch drill bit. They usually come up with a spacing that's aesthetic to the window for the screw spacing and that's drilled with an eighth inch drill bit. At that point you can use a, a Coleco to hold the window in place. From there as it moves further along the next step would be drilling the hole to a 1364 bit. At that point countersinking the screws with the countersink tool that we have the tool bit can be set and you could try this on like a scrap piece that you've cut off your windows and fit them till you get the proper depth that way as you go into the 1364th drilled hole you will have the same depth on all the window screws. That being very important, many of the machine screws that are used versus things in the aircraft industry, the countersink bits that are available for tools like this are generally 120 or 100 degree. The actual correct taper on the screws that we use is 82 degrees, the automotive type screw. This is a little 632 stainless, 632 stainless that we've had black coated. Some people liken the looks of the stainless screw. Some people liken the screw not to even show up in the border of the window itself. But by countersinking that screw correctly, as the screw sets down in to the hole, the taper is correct, and thus you're getting a nice clamping by the screw all the way around the hole versus done incorrectly sometimes you'll see the screw try to when it's tightened walk or move out of the hole sometimes you'll see a window where there'll be started to crack it's because the screw isn't properly holding the lexan material against the body of the car these are usually backed up with a nylock nut on the back side and again you can control the tightness that you tighten the screw to just snug the window into the car firmly. The next step after the screw holes are all drilled and countersunk would be the preparation for the border paint. This happens to be showing you the back side of a window. And what the fabricator has done here is measured off and came in the border that he wants around this particular window. He's taped it off, and then he's come back with the instructions that are on our border window paint and used a 180 grit paper. And this paper can be done anything from a DA to just by hand. Usually by hand, he's just showed you a piece here where he's folded it over. That way he's comfortable with it in his hand. And this isn't something you want to scratch or scuff up real bad where you're trying to abrasively a lot of pressure and put down on this. This is just lightly scuffing the material up and the way that that's done it's generally done from the edge of the material in towards your tape as you might be able to see the tapes even scuffed up a little around the perimeter of this so again you're sanding in even if you were using the DA you'd be lightly going in and as you come to your tape a little light less pressure on it and feathering your edge right up to your masking tape. 
That way when you go to start your painting procedure, and this happens to be a product that we have, it's a border paint that we developed in conjunction with PHGA Brands, the same company that made your track bite. They developed this paint for specifically for painting polycarbonate or Lexan windows. This happens to be a finished product window after the border painting was done. And it was done with light coats starting out, usually roughly 10 minutes in between coats. You find yourself sometimes the light coat, the first one's kind of a tacky coat. You're just getting a dusting on it, and you start building from there. You might find yourself, until you get the look that you want, putting as much as two to three more coats on it. After that, when the tape is pulled off, different from the sanding up to the tape, now you're going to start from the inside of the tape and pull towards your edge. That usually gives you the nice crisp line that you see here on the painted window. And again, back side, face side of it. Again, myself and the guys working in the parts department, we're not the guys out doing it like the fabricators in the shop, but we try to always help those that call in with the proper answers to their questions and the proper products they need to get the same professional results and finish that you see on all Jerry Bickle cars that we build. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and give us a call or look us up on the web. We're always here to help.